First at 11, a last minute scramble before a new tax code goes into effect. RTV6's Matthew McClellan is working for you with moves you should think about before January 1st. Shoppers here crossing off some very last minute gifts. Now that Congress has passed the biggest tax overhaul in decades, some are now scrambling to make those last minute tax moves to save money. It has a huge impact. Bill Elliott is planning his steps before year's end, maximizing new advantages and dodging a potential hit from other changes. Making the house payment, uh, the January payment, making it in December so that you can get it off, get it this year, because next year the amount of deductions you're going to be able to pay, that's all going to be capped. He's not the only Hoosier hoping to save when he files for 2017. Well, I hope my CPA will, but I think I think we'll be able to save some money this year. CPA Leslie Boyd. Probably one of the busiest Decembers on record. Holding clients' hands through the last few days of the year. People want to understand what are things they have to do here. Before December 31st, Boyd says, consider giving more to charity. Is it more beneficial for them to make them this year rather than next year if their marginal tax rate is going to go down? You may also want to pay your property taxes early while there's still no limit on deductions. Making sure they pay those amounts prior to the end of the year to get the full benefit is a strategy. Another move to consider, take advantage of disappearing deductions like those for unreimbursed business expenses. If people are going to be incurring those expenses, paying them now and locking in the deduction in 2017 is a great strategy. A warning though, be careful not to get too creative with the tax code or you could end up with an IRS audit. When in doubt, get with a CPA. It's not a one-size-fits-all strategy. In Indianapolis, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.